Hey guys, it's your girl Chef Joya and today we are doing a get ready with me video. You all ask me questions all the time about how I became vegan in my story and makeup. So let's put it all together and let's talk about it. We're going to talk about all the vegan products that I use. So let's go ahead and get started. Even my lashes are vegan. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I love to use this primer. This is my favorite primer, it's Smashbox Photo Finish. Like it just makes everything just glide on like gold. Like this has been my favorite primer for years and it's vegan. And that's like one of the hardest things to transition into like making all your makeup vegan. It's like, cause when I initially became vegan, I was just thinking about the eating lifestyle. It wasn't so much of what I put on my face and things of that nature. It was, you know, so now it's just developed into more, I'm like real conscious about a lot, so. Now I'm like still making the transition with all my products, but mostly I would say everything that I use is vegan. I may have a couple things because I like I have makeup of galore. I have so much makeup for me being a makeup artist, but I'll say 99.9%. <laughs> Just in case I might pop off something. I'm like, it ain't vegan. I'm like, listen, I didn't know. Now I do. Okay, don't fight me. <laughs> Just teach me. <laughs> all right, so I got my primer on and then I'm gonna go ahead and start with my eyebrows. And I'm going to use the Big Ego from Tarte. I love the pomades for eyebrows because it's bolder and you can shape them to whatever way you want to. And when your eyebrows aren't done like this, it's an easy cover up. So when you do your eyebrows, you want to make sure you make a line across the bottom and then a line across the top because that helps actually give the outline. And then you fill it in with a little bit of color. Um, of the, the pomade and then you brush upward. So you wanna brush in the direction that your hair actually grows. So that way it can give more of a natural look. So you don't look like you, you never just wanna go ramp because the eyebrows are gonna look like, hello. And the thing is you gotta remember eyebrows are sisters, not twins. So if, you know, one, you know, you don't wanna weigh too off. You don't wanna be like, like that. But if it's a little, you know, a little, you're okay, you're okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and move on to our eye area. Like I used to, I used to put my foundation and everything on first, and then I would do my eyeshadow. But sometimes your eyeshadow has fallout, and then you have to wipe your foundation and go through all that. So I stopped doing that, and we're gonna work on our eyes first. I honestly, I didn't use eye primers a lot. I used to always just use my concealer. Um, you know, eye primers I became a long way. And like I said, I've been in the cosmetic industry when it was like I was 22. Um, so that was like over 15 years ago when I got into the cosmetic industry. And let me tell you, products have came a long way. So I used to just use concealer on my eyes because it creates an emotion and it helps your um, eyeshadow not crease and it stays on a lot longer. Do y'all remember how eyeshadow used to look before people started using primer? Like, it was just dust. <laughs> you got colored dust. <laughs> That's why people was putting lipstick on it. Remember, did your mom ever put lipstick on her eyes? Eyelids for color. Y'all ain't never seen that. Who <laughs> shall? <laughs> Lip, that, that was some, ooh, did y'all mama do that? All right, so now we're gonna do some color. I think y'all always see me with a natural glam. And this is gonna be a, this is gonna be a colored natural glam. So let's, let's work out, you know, let's do this Tarte um, palette. I absolutely love this palette. Let's give it up for the fish and sea, <laughs> sea life. Let's support, let's support, support a good cause. And you know, this ain't, listen, this ain't no fake video. I actually use this, okay? So I'm sorry, y'all don't see the pretty, palette as is, but you can go to any other retailer, order online, and I'll put a link below, and you get yours brand new. Look, I done dug all up in here. Okay. Probably should. I thought about buying a new one for y'all, but I'm like, it ain't real. It ain't real. All right. All right, so let's see what we're gonna do. Let's just, I'm gonna start with doing my crease though. And I'm not gonna do like a sharp crease or anything like that because I want it to be natural. Like, well, not natural, because there ain't nothing natural about me, but I want it to be like soft. I want it to just flow. Every time I do my makeup, it's like, trust the process, trust the process. <laughs> Even though I've been doing it for years, so sometimes you flip that wrist wrong and you just be like, man, I take it all off. But I rarely have those happen. And I'm praying it don't happen just because I got a camera in my face. I just add some. What do we want to do? So I think maybe we're not gonna be natural, natural. We're probably gonna just, let's rock it out. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's pretty. All right, let's go ahead. Let me get another brush. So I'm actually gonna clean my, y'all yeah, see that mirror? I'm gonna have to clean my mirror with uh, Branch Basics, which is awesome. It's like a one solution cleaner and they have like an oxygen booster too. Like I have to be honest, when I got the, the box, I was like, what is this? I was like, they sent me empty bottles, but no. <laughs> 
It's one cleaner that it cleans your laundry, your glass, everything. And it's all about the way you dilute it and they give you the instructions to it. And I think it's so dope because like when I cleaned my mirror, it was like squeaky clean. So let's see if it's going to, let's see what kind of work it does on this. Branch Basics. Okay. I see you. And a biodegradable, human safe, fragrance free, all that good stuff. Okay, let's see here. Oh my gosh, I can see myself. Wow. <laughs> it clean. Okay. And this video is not sponsored by any of these brands. These are just actually real brands that I use in real life. So I just want y'all to know, like, you know, all this stuff is the life of Chef Joya and what I use. And I even tell people that with my, my food videos, like, I use, like, even, even if brands send me product, I don't push anything that I don't use. So if I'm not really using it, I really don't feel, feel it. I'm not, I don't push things that I don't use. So you're gonna always get the real with me. So I initially became vegan um, when I was seven years old. My mom literally just came home one day and just said that we're not eating meat or anything anymore. Um, I didn't know why, but you know, now I found out is because my dad was having, he was borderline diabetic and they wanted to make the switch. The doctor told my dad, you can either change your diet or you can get on medication. And my dad is not for medication <laughs> at all. So they happily changed their diet. And so they've been vegan for 30 years. When I got grown, um, I did what I wanted to do and I stopped being vegan. And I'm glad I did because I ate everything and I was such a foodie, but it has helped me in my vegan journey. So when I went back to being vegan three years ago, um, it gave me a leverage, one that I use a whole bunch of old school techniques that a lot of people don't know about um, because being vegan then, you didn't have a lot of substitutions. And so you had to create a lot of your own substitutions and you had to like find out, you pretty much had to be a, a chemist with food because <laughs> if you mix the wrong thing, you're going to make, I don't know what. So it's like, it gives me a big heads up um, with the way I cook now. So I've been doing that for about three years. My three year anniversary is coming up and yeah, I'm loving it. That is like one of the biggest myths that I hear all the time about being vegan. It costs so much money, this, that, and the third. I'm like, absolutely not. You go to your farmer's market. I go to the Dollar Tree and buy items and I show people how to, you know, be vegan on a Dollar Tree budget. Um, there are so many different, you know, grocery stores. I like a lot of the international grocery stores. They usually have a lot of produce uh, for significantly cheaper. Um, you know, it just depends on where you are. Everyone knows if you're in Charlotte, I shop at Compare Foods, like that's like my second home. Um, and then I like the farmer's market as well. So you're supporting local farmers and the prices are a lot different. So you definitely could shop vegan on the budget and using off brand products too. I mean, it's all about what you put the flavor in. Okay. Cause you can buy some things that's branded and it's just going to taste just the same as off brand. And sometimes the same product, you know, it's just private labeling. If you didn't know, now you know. <laughs> I believe that veganism is is here to stay. Um, and a lot of people, I remember, I did a news um, segment a couple years ago, and the lady, she was like, yeah, veganism is trending right now. And I was looking like, you know, I had to keep a straight face. I forgot I was on the news for a moment. And I'm like, trending? Um, but it's actually, people are here to stay. And I know like the things with COVID was super sad, but when that COVID happened, a lot of people sat down and started looking at what they were putting in their body because nobody knew where, you know, it came from. So people started focusing, getting their immune systems up, start, you know, putting things, you just really just gave their, their outlook on eating vegan uh, very different and paid attention to a lot of the, uh, what I would say, like a lot of the fuss um, between, you know, vegans and non-vegans and the activists and things of that nature. Um, and when I say fuss, I'm not saying it as a bad thing. I'm saying like it's creating a lot of noise and people don't know if it was good noise or bad noise. You know, I even learned, you know, during this time that I didn't really realize people that mad at vegans. <laughs> like, what you mad for? <laughs> just call it, call it cauliflower. Don't call it chicken. And this, I just say, call your ground up cow, a ground up cow without a hamburger. Like tomato, tomato, we're even, leave us alone. <laughs> I don't bother you, don't bother me. <laughs> oh, this is free. Let's see here. I'm telling you, blending is everything. I just gotta make sure it's blended perfectly because you don't want to have choppy makeup. So you want to be able to transition into the color. I believe people's perception is really gonna be more open. I can see like half of the world being vegan in the next five years. 
Because one thing I appreciate about these companies, everybody is jumping on it. And I think they know it's gonna be the way of the world because so many different brands, that's even meat-based brands, have a vegan line. Or that's Gary-based brands, they were like, you know what, we're, we're trying to stay. So for us to be able to stay, we need to go ahead and create. And uh, people that don't wanna change, baby, I feel sorry for you, but this is this is just people perception is going to be it's going to be easier the product is going to be more available it's going to be cheaper like even a lot of these brands now have lowered their price because so many more people are buying it and it's not as expensive to create because the more you create the more oh, okay the more you create um you know it's more affordable for more people because it's in a demand so I think it's gonna be amazing okay listen i don't know I, I, it's so many words vegan meals that i've had um, I don't even know where to start, whether it's been from my childhood, you know, it wasn't my mama, but it was, you know, people that just had no business in the kitchen cooking. And every time this one woman would cook, we were just like, we're not eating it. Like, cause we knew it was bad. We knew it had no flavor. We knew it was just all together wrong. It would be like putting orange juice on tofu with some seasons. Like, here you go. Or I'm like, what is that? It, it'd be horrible. But I would say as an adult child, I had so many bad vegan meals. And it came from vegan chefs and vegan restaurants. And I'd be like, ooh, ooh, we. This is what I will say, because I'm saying a lot without saying nothing. <laughs> what I will say is, I don't think the thing that people mess up the most in the vegan community is what I'm known for. And it's that damn mac and cheese. I don't know why, or they don't know. Listen, making your own cheese sauce some days, don't, you don't have to keep doing it, baby. There's so many products out here. Yes, it's. It's um, cheese that they made in the store. You can consider it process, I guess. But nobody wanna be eating y'all chalky cheese or, you know, that cheese, it'd be a mess. You can't give it to people. People who wanna change the world, like, oh my gosh, I got vegan mac and cheese. I want a non-vegan to try it. No, don't get it to them. <laughs> Stop doing it to the non-vegans. I'm trying to bring them over here. Y'all just make it harder for me. And then when I get them over here, then they go try some other food for somewhere else. Then they mad, they be like, uh-uh, chef, this don't taste like your food. I'm like, listen, I brought you on this side. You gotta figure it out. <laughs> That's why I made cookbooks, so they can cook it themselves. <laughs> so when I do my concealer, I always put it in spaces where I'm gonna use highlighter and when I wanna cover up blemishes. Um, and so I do it this way, because when the light hits you, you want it to hit in these areas. You want to hit it under your eyes. You want to hit it in your forehead. You want to hit it on your chin. So the places that you want it to highlight is where I like to do it the most. Um, and I like to go across my eyebrows, because it just gives it a more neater look, a neater finish, once we, um, once we clean up everything. The funny thing is, when I was in cosmetics um, 15 years ago, using sponges were a no-no. They were like, do not use the sponges. It soaks up 20% of, 30% of your makeup. And so we did not use sponges, we only used brushes. But at this time, people weren't doing uh, this dramatic of concealer. Like the concealer then, it was like, use the same concealer as your foundation. It was not a lot of highlight. These, only people that was really doing stuff like this was, you know, queens, <laughs> drag queens, and um, people in um, the movie industry. And it was like kind of like a movie industry secret. So I remember I used to buy like the Kevin O'Quan books, uh, Sam Fine, oh, those are my two favorite makeup artists. Now, I can tell you my two favorite makeup artists. Kevin Aquan and Sam Fine, hunty. Y'all like legends. Legends, legends, legends. But you know what, that's how I am with cooking. I always go for people who's been doing it for long. I don't like to learn from people around my age. Not saying that y'all shouldn't learn from me, but because I got that old soul. I like to learn from people who've been in the game for a very long time because I like to, because they have to do something. They have to pick themselves up when there was nothing there. So they have to create and so they do the work, so. So after you get done making yourself look like a ghost, we're gonna go ahead and add some other stuff. Now I'm not gonna do no baking, you know. Um, I am gonna put highlighter under here though, but I'm not gonna just bake for a long time. All right, so now that I got it on, I'm gonna take it off right away. Now, if I was gonna bake, I would've left it on here for a while, but we're not baking, so let's just brush this all off. Oh, it looks like you wanted to bake anyways. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's a new powder. You say, I immediately bake. Okay. <laughs> Listen, what color am I right now? <laughs> 
All right, so let's go ahead and get our foundation on. I know I look scary right now. It's okay. All right, we're gonna bring this all together. And no, they're not gonna use any filters to change the camera because I tell this to anybody, if you mess up something, just wipe it off. You can always reapply it. I love this uh, foundation. It's called Il Maquillage. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Well, that's what it looks like to say. Um, but this one's actually, you get it online. And I found it during the pandemic. Cause you know, usually you got to go to the counters and get matched up and things like that. You literally take a, um, a quiz and they show you pictures of people. You answer all these different questions and they send you a bottle to try out and be like, okay, we're gonna send you your foundation color. And I was like shocked. I was like, this ain't gonna match. Ain't no way in the world. Oh baby, it's perfect. So I've been using this literally since March or April. And they, it's on subscription. So they, they send me a bottle every two months which I actually need to slow it down because for a while I wasn't going anywhere or doing anything. So I need to have it like every three months. Yeah, they also that you can track your own pace too, so I think that's super dope. So that scared y'all for a minute. Y'all thought I was gonna be looking like... <laughs> y'all was like, wait a minute. Man, ooh, there ain't no superstar right there. <laughs> Trust the process. I ain't gonna lie, scared me too. I was like, what did I just do? <laughs> keep talking, keep talking. <laughs> All right, so now you always wanna set your makeup with a powder. I love to use loose powders. Um, this is actually, this is my first time using this one. As I was, you know, going through my makeups and I realized that my favorite one was not vegan at all. It was really hard, I had to get, I had to get rid of it. So this is my first time using this, y'all, so pray for me because I don't know what color this looks like because you know you can't no longer test out your makeup before you use it, so. Say a prayer. All right. So this is the Too Faced Translucent Powder in Medium. It's called Born This Way. Born This Way. Girl, listen, we gonna have to do something about them eyes real quick. <laughs> oh, my eyes said ghost. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and contour now. Now, contour is everything. Um, even if I have like a moisturizer, I still contour. Um, like, because it just shapes your face. So, you know, you've got your eyebrows that frames your face, but when you hit that, uh, your cheek, your jaw, your forehead, it just brings everything into focus. So let's go ahead and do that. And an easy way to do it, um, is like, it's like if you're a beginner and you're gonna do your contour, you wanna do like a three, so you go here, here, like a three. So that's where you know it wants to hit at all the time. Um, but with me, I do a little bit differently because I've been doing it for a while and it's easy for me, so I suck my jaws in like a fish. And then I'll take a lighter color for right now. And I'll still, I'm still gonna hit it in those same areas, I just don't have to do the three swirl. So I'm gonna take, and I use two different bronzer colors. So this is the Smashbox palette that I'm using. And it actually changed it recently. So this is my first time actually using this one. I usually use the one with the three in there, but they didn't have it in my shade. So I seen this one, I was like, okay, this is gonna have to work. And then now we're gonna go ahead and work on our nose. Now I used to like snatch my nose all the way in. Um, and that's because I used to then be comfortable with my nose. Like, you know, people tease you and things like that. So now, but now I'm cool, I, I don't care anymore. So I don't do all the snatching of my nose. I just do a slight contour, um, which is really easy for uh, most people to do. Um, and I'll just go like literally down, like you know we got the concealer right there. So I'll go down the, the size of that where we had the concealer at. And then I'll do right here across the tip. And then I'll go a little circle part, but not too much. And then I'll just bring it out a little bit. Like I just, it's just that simple. Remember I was talking about the lipstick, putting the lipstick on your cheeks and your eyes and stuff like that. So Urban Decay, they jumped on it. They got a face and lip tint. So the same thing that you can use for your lips, you can use for your face. I'm just gonna use it for my uh, cheeks today. So this is gonna look pop of color. And I don't know, I did it bittersweet. A little like that. And I just take my fingers. And it's just, it just like a nice healthy glow. Boom, check it. Got my glow. So then now we're gonna go back to our eyes and we're going to add our bottom color. I'm just going on a, a little bit on the outside of the lash line. And so having a lighter color under your eyes really helps it pop. Now if you wanna do this look and make it like super sharp and super dramatic, you wanna put some tape underneath. 
because that'll pretty much just sharpen the entire look. I just like to take concealer and clean it up. I do. Look kind of scary. I'm gonna go on in the corner of my eye. So I'm gonna take like a little bit of take a little bit of beige. Now let's actually let's do some teal. I do want to add some teal to this. So so we're gonna use this teal just to brighten up the eye some more. So we can have like different layers. So even though we have the royal blue going on in the inside, I still want to keep it light with the teal. So I want that to actually be able to pop out. Now, if I was doing like a nighttime look and I was about to go out and hang out with the girls, I would definitely do some black liner just to make it more dramatic. I like that a lot. That looks fun. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> All right, just gonna go ahead and clean it up with a little bit of concealer. As that dries a little bit, just put a little powder on top. And I'm gonna just work my way down because I'm gonna come back to my eyes, guys, but I wanna do my lips right now. Let me put a little bit of lip liner on. So I already have like nice lips, like full lips, so I don't go outside the line. And I just bring it in just a little bit. What is this, Kylie Diva. Just kiss a little bit, don't rub my lips. I remember back in the day when you used to make it in. They used to make my lips all over. No, you just let black black. I like that a lot. All right, back to my eyes. So we are going to just wing it a little bit. Now I love a good wing liner. Like I, I live for a great wing. Um, but my lashes are gonna do a lot of dramatics right now. <laughs> I'll wait till I see my lashes. I love it. So I'm just gonna do like a soft wing. Do a little, like a little wing tip right there. This is just like a light wing. You wanna make a wing tip. And then you wanna come over. And then you want to meet it this way. So it's like kind of like a three part. You want to meet it and bring it all together. So it can be even. Got my little baby wing going on. <laughs> I used to have like such a bigger dramatic wing, but <laughs> let's get out these lashes so y'all can see what I mean. All right, but first, let me put some spray on my face. So I like to set my makeup, always set your makeup, guys, because nobody want their makeup on a partner's shirt and blouse and all that. So I love the Urban Decay um, face spray. I've always used them. Um, I used to use those with Skin Denavia back when I was a makeup artist. Uh, but I think, like, oh, wow. It says Urban Decay by Skin Denavia. You know, they told me it was the same company. Anyway, and just like that. And then it's just gonna, oh set and it just melts your makeup together literally you just see it just transforms and melts together okay this is called my fake box <laughs> this is where i keep my fake lashes my fake nails my glue for all my fake stuff and for my fake hair <laughs> so let's see what lashes are we going to choose so many to choose from <laughs> we got these Ooh, i like those she's not natural i am I'm naturally the bomb. And that's another thing. People think that because you're vegan, you gotta be like a granola bar. You just gotta have everything has to be natural. And no. The whole thing about being vegan is not consuming any animal products. It's about animal cruelty. It's like you're being vegan for the animals. You know, a lot of people, people do it for their health. It just depends on where you come from. You do it for different reasons. But, you know, I mean, you gotta not wear, you know, fake hair. And <laughs> I love my hair and nails. And, you know, it doesn't mean you have to just do, you don't have to be like this purist. You know, um, if that's what you choose to do, I don't knock you because, you know, I don't judge anybody. My whole thing is you do you and I do me. What I like is what I like. What you love is what you love. Like, let's just leave it at that. And you can Google these lashes are vegan. They fox mink, faux minks. What's fox? <laughs> fox mink. <laughs> All right, so I got my lash glue on here. Now, if you guys aren't good with doing your lashes, you know I came out with my magnetic lashes. So you can put it on like eyeliner and just pop it right on. So when you put it on your lashes, you want to make sure you look at the lashes. You want to make sure that you put the shorter part in the inside and the longer part on the outside. If you didn't know, you know, in case you take out the pack and you get it mixed up. So I'm just going to go ahead and highlight. So we're just going to bring out what the sun is already going to kiss with the regular highlight. So we're doing a little bit of glow. Y'all know I love my glow and my dewiness. I like to look like my skin is milk. Does it look milky to you? <laughs> I love milky looking skin. And yeah, so I'm gonna put right here a little bit more on my forehead. 
because when I go outside, baby, it's about to be everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and I answered all the questions that you typically ask me all the time. Um, and hopefully you try out all these products that I use because I actually use these items from the skincare to the makeup and you want flawless looking skin. Now I gave you my secret. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and let me know what you think about this video in the comments below. Ciao.